to look. Oh, there we go. Here's two. Mm -hmm. Both of them taking the time to pull out their respective projectiles. And, and just give themselves like an extra option to work with. And that landing actually being called out very well by NY Kova. And he has quite a little lead for himself right now. Yeah. So far, seems like he's kind of controlling the game. But this could all change right now. Look at that, look at that. One follow up is all it took. One follow up is all it took. And then he runs into his own Medica Cooper. Yeah, that's, that's all that Ling Ling really needs. Um, one hit of like the falling down and, and the, and the turning up combos are genuinely ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, that shield's like an extra tiny. Yep. And because of how tiny that shield was, he wasn't even able to hit the nicely spaced fairy from Ling Ling. Uh, just gonna get poked there. Because uh, his head's gonna be a little bit exposed. Gonna get sp stage spiked with the side B. Not gonna be able to get hit too much for it. And Ling Ling does a really, really good job of catching these aggressive recoveries from NY Kova, where he opts to just air dodge back onto the stage uh, instead of snapping through the two lines. I was just going for a forward smash and neutral, that's not punished for it though. Yeah, no, Ling Ling just took the time to gather up his assets. He was already like uh, pulling a turnip while he, uh, while NY Kova initiated the, the F smash. And just there, like Ling Ling is like showing like how well he's adapted to NY Kova's recovery. He spaced himself perfectly, knowing he's gonna come back onto stage aggressively. Zap smashes, already hitting him once with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, that was a little bit interesting. Ling Ling got maybe a little bit too aggressive. And NY Kova was just like saying, hit me, hit my shield, do it big boy. Okay. Does see that the Counter came out but this Yeah, and catching the panic drop shield right now, this is looking very, very good for Gunmo. Ling Ling is just basically like one hit confirm away from dealing a solid 50%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just right there, just getting so much damage with like uh, throwing the turnips. Ling advantage to it, just... Oh uh, yeah, it's for... to kill the... Yeah, and that's gonna be the ass smash. And Ling Ling taking game one really, really cool. 39 days on the second stop. Yeah. You, you were just moved in between the voice channels for a bit. But, <laughs> jumping to game two of NY Kova and Ling Ling. And Wykova, I mean, he has to definitely mix up the way that he's recovering against Ling Ling. Ling Ling got mm -hmm. such a good sense of the fact that he's going to recover aggressively. And he got hard punished. He got hard called out with it multiple times with that smash. Yeah. You know, if, you're getting, if you're getting hit by an option like that, that's like basically like a huge like like whistle in your ear. Just saying, okay, watch out for you doing this. Yeah. You it. Starts off with an aggressive option, doesn't it? Even... Give Ling Ling time, but Ling Ling does turn it around. It's like 19 damage. Not able to punish the cross up dash attack on his shield. Really nice time there, actually, to be able to hit the falling uh, turn up on its way down. Yeah. Like a Koopa class. I don't know what Ling Ling was going for, but he's just gonna go unpunished uh, for whiffing that up B. Yeah, that, that up beat is like, it's susceptibly difficult to punish just because of like how much yeah. air speed each gets in it. And when you uh, can't do like as limited uh, mobility like Bowser Jr., it can definitely be difficult to um, just get there in time and, and hit him with something uh, optimal. Yeah. Down smash. Going really, really deep. And actually, NY Kova still being able to recover and not and Ling Ling couldn't get hit by that cannonball all the way from across stage, thinking that he could neutral get up through it. But the thing is, with those super, super slow projectiles, um, the time you uh, vulnerable. I just hit my elbow off my table. Ouch. Okay, other folks are still almost killed, actually. But Ling Ling does take it with the dash. Yeah, 175% more than enough 
This could be the end of Lily's talk, but... Yeah, he's just really, really patient at ledge. Kissing and my cup. Under the ledge with it. And knowing that he's a little bit too far to get up attack, so he's just gonna wait. He's gonna be really, really patient. He's gonna wait. Except for the spotter. Yeah, like covering so many options by feeling the cannonball and just like having Ling Ling be stuck in that much shield stun. And this is now effectively an even game. Yeah. We're getting so much damage, not able to actually uh, finish executing his turn up combo. Uh, maybe just missing his timing on a couple of the hits that he needed. Does flip around with the cart. Can't, can't be just running up to Lily and inside you like that. Mm -hmm. Crossing up uh, Kova's shield really, really well with the back air. Trying to get the edge guard, but I'd like that Kova went for a high recovery this time with side B. Definitely something a little bit more unorthodox than giving Ling Ling and, and, and just forcing him to play on his toes a little bit. Oh, Mac and Koopa like that. But that's it, yes! That's about me. Yeah, when Bowser Jr. is outside of his mech, um, his aerials just have so much knockback. His back in the yeah. corner, they just they pass so much. Not able to link the upper into each other, thinking that Ling Ling was gonna jump out of his shield. Uh, he went to the upper after hitting the shield there. Again, goes for the upbeat with the aggressive aerial afterward. Nice, that was a super, super good way to clean up the stock. 32% basically a negligible lead for them, like Kova, considering that he's just a couple of hits away from uh, being back to even. Such a nice timing on his parries and shields, too, because that could have gone south so quickly if he was just a frame uh, really on, on releasing it. Yeah. This is not looking good for Ling Ling, but then again, things can but not change! He's just gonna roll into the F, into the down smash, and Edwin Kova actually taking Ling Ling to game 3. This is... Could have a pretty... I'm, I'm assuming this is a big upset. Could be. He did pretty good last week. Kova? Yeah. Hmm. What do you think? This haven't heard of him before. Maybe I am kind of. Maybe I'm a little bit sleep. Yeah, no, no, but he's definitely like he should be. No, it's it's seven. It's it doesn't really matter. Though. Yeah, but Ling Ling with the counting pick here on Battlefield actually just able to able just to control space so much more effectively than like Kova able to like pace the game really really slowly, give himself enough time to farm the turnips. I think that's pretty clever. Uh, never, never mind. Anyhow, um, <laughs> yeah, so, so he's just like forcing on my cover to, to approach all the time. Pretty much this is gonna be who he's going to be. He had the right idea, but he was just a little bit too far off to the side. And my cover was. But yeah, no, the platform just give him, like, speed to be able to uh, like, turn ups, to get the exact turn ups that he wants. So that he, like, constantly has it on hand. So good for his edge guard. And the uh old -oh. is gonna be basically up the lead grab. He is gonna be appropriately punished for quite a mountain to climb, only 59% on, uh, to 70%, excuse me. We're trying to get the up there reset. I like the idea, but uh, cover was just a little bit too far, uh, too far down for that, and not able to capitalize on the man and just get a little bit of shield pressure off. Wait, what if I take the second stop? Mm -hmm. Yeah, one, two. Right now, uh, Ling Ling is struggling to land. Kova making so much 
uh, getting so much damage off on those couple of aerials that he was able to land. Stalling just a little bit on the edge of the stage, able to land back aggressively uh, by air dodging and then hitting uh, Ling Ling with the falling fail. Also blocking out ledge with the Mecha Koopa. You just get free so much faith. That was so interesting because Ling Ling hit both the shield and the Mega Koopa. They was just the cover to be able to punish all of that hit lag. Um, because yeah. while while Ling Ling was stuck in the uh, hit lag of, of hitting the Mega Koopa. Um, Kovo was just able to already get out of the shield stun, but gonna be sniped to him so deep off stage by the tunic. Really nice placement. You gotta be careful with these. There's kind of two frames. Yeah, this is all explosions. Definitely something to always be a little bit wary of. Uh, trying to maybe catch a roll in with the down smash, not able to find it though. That's gonna be the multi jab, not gonna kill because he is across the stage. You know, uh, Bowser Jr. is quite speaking now the fact that it's one of the only multi jabs that uh, consistently kills in the game. I really like these stalls from Ling Ling. He's just waiting for Kova to. He's waiting for the perfect moment for when, like, all of them out of play or when there's like a really nice opening for himself. So instead of trying to force the opening, he has all the time in the world to his advantage here. Like you see, he's just really, really waiting patiently, and now he's able to get back onto stage. And if Kova wants to win this, he has to find a way to close out the stock right now. Great use of the turnip to stuff out the Mega Koopa as well. Not gonna let him play his game at all. Doesn't quite kill. Yeah, you know, 151%, just about anything can kill at this point. And yeah, Ling Ling positioned himself in such a way that a down is a nail fail.